If you like playing around with Linux, chances are you'd want a bootable USB pen drive with your favorite Linux distro installed. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candidor Technology and in this video we're talking about how you can create a bootable USB drive with Linux Mint on it. Alright, so you want to get into Linux uh, and Linux Mint is one of the best places to start. It's uh, simple to use, it's very lightweight, it has pretty much all the features that you would get in popular Linux distributions like Ubuntu or Debian and uh, it's really easy to set up and install on a system so let's get started the first thing that you have to do is of course download linux mint and download um, etcher or if you'd like to use rufus you can also go ahead and do that so let me just load up the linux mint website so yeah, it's called linuxmint.com i'll put a link in the description below but basically what you have to do is head over to this uh, download section uh, which where you will find the latest version which is Linux Mint 22 Wilma. There are three flavors. I'll quickly go over them. Cinnamon is the best one. If you can run it, you should use it. XFCE is a lightweight edition. It doesn't have as many features, but uh, it's lighter on resource usage. And Mate edition is the classic one if you want uh, the GNOME user experience with Linux Mint. Chances are if you're using uh, or if you're deciding between the three, you already know what you want because you know what XFCE and Mate and Gnome and things like that mean. If you're just getting started, uh, Cinnamon is the best to go. So just go ahead and uh, click the download button. Uh, it's a 2.7 GB uh, download uh, as an ISO file. You have uh, hundreds of servers that you can use. Use a good one. Uh, for better speed and once you're downloaded you are good to go so next up we're going to download etcher and uh, for etcher the link will also be in the description below let me just copy paste it right here so control l etcher.balena.io so etcher is a really quick tool to flash operating system images images to sd cards and usb drives very easily just go ahead and click on download etcher this will take us here so it's available on windows mac os and linux we are just going to use the Windows installer for 64-bit. Uh, HS setup has been downloaded. Uh, 182 MB file. Okay, we'll wait for it to download. Okay, so uh, the download is finished. I can just go ahead and run it. No, I can't. Thank you, Arc. Anyways, let me just start this setup. And minimize this window in the meantime. We'll give it a second to load up. Okay, uh, and that's it. The etcher is now working. So you can either flash from file, flash from URL or clone from drive. We're going to flash from a file. So now we're going to select our operating system image, which is uh, Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon, which we just downloaded. So go ahead and click on open. Next up, you have to select your bootable drive, which in this case, uh, as soon as you open it up, it will show you all of the connected removable drives to your system and of course your system drives as well so as you can see these are both my system drives this is my uh, camera's memory card and this is the pen drive that i'm going to use to install make sure that whatever drive you're using is at least 8 gbs that's like the bare minimum that you need uh, once you've selected it go ahead and click select and that's it just click on the flash button and it will ask you for some permissions and the process will start and uh, as you can see this is going to take about 11 or 13 minutes but once you're done etching you can now use uh, this removable drive to start any system with linux mint and uh, you'll have a linux mint bootable pen drive on your hands in about 10 minutes if you like these videos consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.